हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ दिस इज और चैप्टर थर्ड सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स एंड प्लास्टिक्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस यू हैव लर्न अबाउट द मटेरियल्स ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड्स एंड देयर प्रॉपर्टीज नाउ यू हैव आल्सो लर्न अबाउट फाइबर्स एंड प्लास्टिक्स बट इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल लर्न मोर अबाउट दैम सो हेयर द फर्स्ट वर्ड विच कम टू इन अर माइंड दैट इज फाइबर्स एज वी ऑल नो फाइबर इज थिन थ्रेड लाइक स्ट्रेंड विच इज वोवन इन टू अ फैब्रिक एंड वॉट इज फैब्रिक येस फैब्रिक इज द क्लॉथ फ्रॉम विच ड्रेस मटेरियल इज मेड नाउ फाइबर्स एज यू हैव लर्न अर्लियर मे बी नेचुरल फाइबर्स और सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स सो सी ऑल फैब्रिक्स आर मेड फ्रॉम टाइनी हेयर लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स कॉल्ड फाइबर्स दे आर आई दस शॉर्ट और लॉन्ग फाइबर फॉर शॉर्ट फाइबर वी विल यूज द वर्ड स्टेपल एंड फॉर लॉन्ग फाइबर्स वी विल यूज द वर्ड फिलामेंट दे आर आर थ्री मेन ग्रुप्स ऑफ फाइबर्स लाइक एनिमल फाइबर इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ अ नेचुरल फाइबर लाइक वूल सिल्क प्लांट फाइबर्स इट इज ऑल्सो एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ नेचुरल फाइबर्स लाइक कॉटन लाइनिंग एट्सेट्रा सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स आर मैन मेड फ्रॉम द बाय प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ ऑयल लाइक एक्रिलिक रीजनरेटेड फाइबर्स आर मेड फ्रॉम अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ केमिकल्स एंड सेल्यूलोज वेस्ट लाइक विस्कस मॉडल एज वी हैव लर्न इन प्रीवियस क्लासेस देयर आर टू मेन टाइप ऑफ फाइबर्स फर्स्ट नेचुरल फाइबर सेकेंड सिंथेटिक और मैन मेड फाइबर्स नेचुरल फाइबर्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ एनी फाइबर विच इज डिराइव फ्रॉम नेचर द फाइबर विच वी गेट डिराइव फ्रॉम नेचर दैट आर कॉल्ड नेचुरल फाइबर्स देर आर फोर मेजर नेचुरल फाइबर्स दैट वी विल रीड बन फाइबर एंड वॉट आर सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स सिंथेटिक और मैन मेड फाइबर्स आर केमिकली इंजीनियर इन अ लेबोरेटरी और आर केमिकली मेड इन अ लेबोरेटरी दे आर लेस एक्सपेंसिव टू मेक इट सो जनरली पीपल यूज सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स ओवर नेचुरल फाइबर्स नाउ नेचुरल फाइबर्स नाउ सी नेचुरल फाइबर्स कम फ्रॉम प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स एनिमल्स आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड प्रोटीन फाइबर्स एंड प्लांट्स आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड सेल्यूलोसिक फाइबर्स वॉट आर द जनरल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ नेचुरल फाइबर्स येस फर्स्ट इज हाइड्रोफिलिक दैट मीन्स दिस टाइप ऑफ फाइबर्स एब्जॉर्ब वॉटर सेकेंड दे आर कम्फर्टेबल टू वेयर थर्ड मोस्ट रिंकल इजिली दैट मीन्स दिस टाइप ऑफ फाइबर गेट रिंकल वेरी इजिली नेक्स्ट ड्यूरेबल सो नेचुरल फाइबर्स आर टेक्सटाइल फाइबर्स मेड फ्रॉम प्लांट्स और एनिमल्स सम नेचुरल फाइबर्स आर लाइक कॉटन लाइनिंग वूल सिल्क लैदर फर एट्सेट्रा नाउ हेयर वॉट यू कैन सी हेयर वी हैव टेकन सम पेपर क्लिप्स एंड जॉइन डैम टूगेदर टू मेक अ लॉन्ग चेन एज यू कैन सी इन द फिगर हेयर सम क्लिप्स आर जॉइन टूगेदर टू फॉर्म अ लॉन्ग चेन सो पेपर क्लिप्स आर द स्मॉलर यूनिट्स which join together to form a large unit and what will be that smaller unit the smaller unit are called a monomers we can make a bigger unit by making the combination of smaller unit this smaller unit is called a monomer so here you can see the individual piece of a paper clip so this individual piece of paper clip is termed as monomer now here see when more more number of monomers are combined together then the polymer will be formed and the process of making the polymer by the combination of monomers is called as polymerization now we will learn one by one so pol a substance composed of repeating structural units or monomers connected by some bond like covalent bond that is called polymer so this is the monomer of polythene now definitions what is polymer a polymer is a long molecule formed by joining together of thousands of smaller molecular units by chemical bonds this is called polymers now what is monomer 
In simple words, you can say smaller unit is called monomer or the small molecules which combine together to form polymer molecules are known as monomers. Now, what is polymerization? The chemical process leading to the formation of polymer is known as polymerization. Next is the number of monomeric units contained in the polymer is called the degree of polymerization. Means, एक पॉलीमर में जितने मोनोमर्स यूनिट्स हैं उसे हम बोलते हैं डिग्री ऑफ पॉलीमराइजेशन सो हेयर आर द सिम्टम्स पॉलीमर मोनोमर्स पॉलीमराइजेशन एंड डिग्री ऑफ पॉलीमराइजेशन नाउ हेयर वी विल लर्न व्हाट आर सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स सो द फाइबर्स मेड बाय ह्यूमन बीइंग्स आर कॉल्ड सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ चेन ऑफ स्मॉल यूनिट्स जॉइंट टुगेदर Each small unit is actually a chemical substance. Many such small units combine to form large unit. This is called a polymer. Or you can say that fibers obtained through different chemical process in the industries are known as synthetic fibers. Now, some characteristics of synthetic fibers. So, synthetic fibers are cheaper than natural fibers. Second. फाइबर्स आर स्ट्रॉगर देन नेचुरल फाइबर मीन्स सिंथेटिक फाइबर बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग होता है एज कम्पेयर टू नेचुरल फाइबर इट इज ईजी टू मेनटेन द सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स एंड इट इज ईजी टू वॉश द सिंथेटिक फैब्रिक्स वी कैन ईजीली वॉश दैम नेक्स्ट सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स आर ड्राइड अप इन लेस टाइम मीन्स मीन्स ये सन लाइट में बहुत जल्दी ड्राई हो जाते हैं सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स रेडिली अवेलेबल ये मार्केट में हमें इजीली अवेलेबल हो जाते हैं इन शॉर्ट वी कैन से सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स पर्जेज यूनिक करेक्टरिस्टिक्स विच मेक दैम पॉपुलर ड्रेस मटेरियल्स दे ड्राई अप क्यूटली आर ड्यूरेबल लेस एक्सपेंसिव रेडिली अवेलेबल एंड वेरी इजी टू मेनटेन नाउ वी विल लर्न अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स सो हेयर इज द फर्स्ट दैट इज रेयर It is also known as artificial silk. Actually, it is a synthetic fiber prepared by chemical treatment of wood pulp. These fibers are spun into yarn and then woven into the fabric. Rayon has silk-like appearance, hence it is called an artificial silk. The fabric obtained from silk fiber was very costly, so it is not affordable. But It rayon has beautiful texture, fascinated everybody. So attempts were made to make silk artificially. Towards the end of the nineteenth century, scientists were successful in obtaining a fiber having properties similar to that of a silk. Now some uses of rayon. It is used in textile industries for making textile. Rayon is used for making tire cords also. It is also used for making carpets and surgical dressings. Rayon is also used for manufacturing bandages, and rayon is also used for making audio tapes. Rayon can imitate the feel and texture of silk, wool, cotton, and linen. So it is mixed with cotton to make bed sheets, or mixed with wool to make carpets. Rayon fabrics are smooth, cool, and comfortable. Rayon can be easily dyed in a wide range of colors. It is used in making aprons, for example, dresses, jackets, suits, etc. Now, the another synthetic fiber is nylon. Nylon is the first synthetic fiber made by humans. It is a polymer prepared by joining large number of amide molecules. so here the monomer is amide molecules when we combine more number of amide molecules we will get the nylon synthetic fiber so nylon is another man made fiber in 1931 it was made without using any natural raw material that means from plant or animals it was prepared from coal water and air it was the first fully synthetic fibers क्योंकि हमने इसमें कोई भी नेचुरल सब्सटेंस को यूज नहीं किया था दैट्स वाई इट इज द फर्स्ट फुली सिंथेटिक फाइबर नाइलॉन इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग लस्ट्रस हाईली इलास्टिक एक्सट्रीमली फाइन लाइट वेट 
easy to wash, wrinkle free, does not absorb water and is not attacked by fungi and molds. It remains insoluble in most of the common solvent. Now we will learn about some uses of nylon. Nylon is also used for making parachutes and ropes for rock climbing because it is very strong. A nylon thread is actually stronger than a steel wire. When wool blended with nylon, it used to make socks, suits and carpets. Nylon is used in the production of textiles like sari, shirt, neckties, socks and other garments also. It is also used for making strings for sports rackets and musical instruments, bristles for toothbrushes and paint brushes also. Now the another one is polyester. So polyester is a polymer made up of repeating units of an organic chemical called an ester or you can say ester is the monomer of the polyester. Esters are the chemicals which give fruity smell. Now polyester is synthetic fiber. Fabric made from this fiber does not get wrinkled easily. It remains crisp and easy to wash. So it is quite suitable for making dress material. You must have seen people wearing nice polyester shirts and other dresses. Terrelin is a popular polyester. It can be drawn into very fine fibers that can be woven like any other yarn. Polyester is a strong, elastic, absorbs little amount of water, dries quickly after washing and it is also a wrinkle free. Now here we will learn some advantages advantages and uses so what are the advantages first it is soft and durable second it resists stains and soil third easily dyed fourth often blended wool cotton what are the disadvantages first it generates static subject to certain stain pills not absorbent Lower grade carpets wear quickly. Now what are the uses? It is used in home, furnishing as curtains, window scarves, plated sheets, fiber fill pillows and bedding, upholstery for making carpets. Now we will learn about acrylic fiber. It is a synthetic fiber made from a polymer called polyacrylonitrile. It is lightweight soft and warm with a wool like feel. It can be dyed with different colors. We will know about uses of acrylic fibers. It is used for making sweaters, socks, fleece wear, circular knit apparel, sports wear, children's wear etc. It is used in making carpet, blankets, area rugs, upholstery, pile fabrics. Its wide uses make it suitable for making car tops, boat covers, outdoor furniture. It is also used in filtration materials, reinforced materials, in construction or in car batteries. It is used in making felts for paper making. It is also used in auxiliary tapes for bags, braids, cloth for bags, wigs, etc. It is used in filter cloth, alternative asbestos, tents, sheet, etc. Here is the summary of all the synthetic fibers like rayon, nylon, polyester and acrylic. Another artificial fiber is spandex. Now we will learn about some spandex. What is spandex? Spandex is a synthetic fiber created by Joseph Shivers, a chemist for DuPont. It was developed primarily to replace the rubber that was currently being used to create in garments. After initial test failed, the project was put on hold until the 1950 when Shivers made his breakthrough in 1958. 
Spandex can stretch five times its length and still maintain its shape and elasticity. It is named spandex as a play on the word expand. Now some disadvantages synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers melt before burning. Second, some electrical charge accumulates on the synthetic fibers. The electrical charge causes irritation of the skin. Third, extremely hazardous to the environment. Fourth, can make you overheat. Can make you cold when wet. Synthetic fibers are non-biodegradable. Therefore, they cause soil pollution. Synthetic fibers can absorb very little moisture. In hot and humid weather, when we sweat, the sweat is trapped between the fabric and the skin. Synthetic fibers are uncomfortable during summers. Now, another topic is plastic. Present time is the age of plastics. Almost all the domestic items are now made up of plastic such as mug, bucket, chair, ball pen, etc. There is no end to the number of plastic items used by us. But what are plastics? Here are the some objects made by the plastics which we use in our daily life routine. Question is what is plastic? Plastics are material formed by long chains of carbon and hydrogen called polymers formed by units called monomers. The most important characteristics of plastic is the capacity of deformation. All plastics have same type of arrangement of units. It may be either linear or cross-linked. So, a plastic is a synthetic material which on being heated becomes soft. It can be molded into a desired shape and then again hardened to provide a durable articles. <clears throat> so, a plastic is defined as an organic material that has the ability to flow into a desired shape when heat and pressure are applied to retain that shape when they are withdrawn. Composed primarily of a binder with plasticizers, fillers, pigments, other additives. Now, plastic word is derived from the Greek word that is plasticos, means able to be shaped or molded. Any synthetic organic material that can be molded under heat and pressure into a shape that is retained after the heat and pressure are removed is called plastic. So, now for revision, a plastic material is any of a wide range of synthetic or semi-synthetic organic amorphous solid used in the manufacturing of industrial products. Plastics are typically polymers of high molecular mass and may contain other substances to improve performance and or reduce cost. Monomers of plastic are either natural or synthetic organic compounds. Basically, plastics are of two types, thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic or you can say thermoset plastic. So, now we will learn one by one. So, the material is man-made and is a byproduct of the oil industry. Two types of plastic thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic. Thermoplastic materials are described as plastics that can be reformed using heat. This plastic has a memory. It returns to its original flat shape when reheated. Say plastics which easily get deformed on heating and can be bent easily are known as thermo plastic. These can be molded into different shapes again and again by repeated heating and cooling. Now, 
here are the some properties of thermoplastics it may melt before passing to a gaseous state second allow plastic deformation when it is heated hum garam karke iske shape ko deform kar sakte hain they are brittle and glossy they are soluble in certain solvents swell in the presence of certain solvents and the last good resistance to creep now thermoplastic processing continue to heat liquefy and when we will cool it will be solidified so here the analogy when we will give heat or temperature to the substance it will be converted into liquid state or when we cools down that particular substance it will be solidified so here is the how thermoplastics work now thermosetting plastic naam se hi samajh mein aa raha hai setting ek baar shape decide hone ke baad hum usko dobara change nahi kar sakte so some properties of these type of plastics आर हाई कैपेसिटी टू रेसिस्ट द हाई टेम्परेचर दे कैन नॉट बी मोल्डेड मोर देन वन टाइम वी कैन मोल्ड दिस टाइप ऑफ प्लास्टिक ओनली एट वन टाइम दे हैव अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ फ्लेक्जिबिलिटी नेक्स्ट दे रिटेन दे आर स्ट्रेंथ एंड शेप वैन हीटेड एंड दे आर इम्परमिएबल नाउ properties of thermosetting plastics are these are soluble in alcohol and certain organic solvents when they are in thermoplastic stage this property is utilized for making paints and varnishes from these plastics they are available in a variety of beautiful colors these are durable strong and hard they are mainly used in engineering application of plastics thermosetting plastics are described as plastic that do not reform using heat they set and cannot be reshaped some examples are for urea formaldehyde it is used in electric plugs and sockets second one is malamoin it is used in kitchen worktops unbreakable drink mugs third polyester resin poured into molds to make products or for boat repair you can see the thermosetting plastic by this flow chart first we will heat it then the plastic will be softened then we will cool it then we will cool it down then it will be permanently rigid that means we cannot change the shape this is one shot cycle for thermosetting plastic now in summarize thermoplastic that means it can be melted repeatedly and the thermosetting plastic that is one shaped cannot be melted we cannot change the shape again and again now see the difference between thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic so thermoplastic soften on heating and thermosetting plastic do not soften on heating second it is long chain linear and it is 3d structure by addition polymerization and in this by condensation polymerization fourth it can be reshaped and reused but in thermosetting plastic it cannot be reshaped fifth it is soft weak and less brittle and it is hard and strong sixth it is soluble in organic solvent and here it is insoluble in organic solvents reclaimed for waste and it will not be reclaimed for waste now we are using plastic nowadays but how plastic is harmful to the environment because plastic is manufactured using oil by products and natural gas materials that could be used in numerous other applications gas for example can be used to heat houses and cook food using plastic in the volume we currently do reduces the availability of these resources which are gone forever when used up a lot of plastic 
waste is generated daily and this plastic waste keeps on accumulating in our homes ultimately plastic find its way to the garbage the disadvantages of plastic disposal of plastic waste leads to the following health and environmental hazards plastic bits do not get completely burnt and produce toxic gases and smoke that cause air pollution plastic is indestructible produced from oil a resource that is running out day by day it creates pollution when melted accumulates in ocean killing animals and damaging the planet clogs roadside drains which could co cause the flooding of the street at heavy rainfalls here are some common plastics and their uses first pet -E. it is used in water bottles juice soft drink second hdpe it is used for making milk and shampoo bottles third pvc it is hard rigid or thick film clear and colored plastic next ldpe it is soft flexible plastic it is used for shopping bags and soft bottles next pp it is hard flexible packaging such as microwave ware take away containers next ps rigid brittle plastic such as small tubs and butter containers next some other plastics are also there all other upcoming plastic from material development including nylon abs and acrylic as responsible citizens we must remember the golden 4r principle reduce reuse recycle and renewable or recover we should develop habits which are environment friendly we should use two types of bins a green bin and a blue bin for disposing waste now we will learn about testing different fibers for the effect of flame so in this topic we will compare different fibers like cotton wool rayon silk nylon acrylic etc so here is the first one that is cotton fiber it is a cellulose fiber it burns and may flare up when lit no melted bead is left by it or you can say cotton burns vigorously with flame giving out smell of burning paper or leaving behind little powdery ash its smoke is gray or white and the ash is fine soft that can be easily crumbled now we will see about the wool wool fiber curls while burning with a flame giving out smell of burning hair and leaving behind a ball of ash you can say in simple words its burning character is self extinguishing its smell like of hair or feathers wool shrinks from the flame so this is the wool character on burning now jute its burning character is slow to ignite and it is smell like of burning paper and when you will burn the jute you will get the residue of like fine gray ash ash means rag silk silk burns poorly without giving out a flame and smell so burn character is it burns slowly or self extinguishing and it's a smell of burning hair and when we will burn silk we will get the irregular soft bead and silk doesn't shrink from flame now the next one is nylon that is a type of a synthetic fiber so now we will learn burn test so first is burn character that means nylon melts and burns simply 
and its smell like of celery order now the next is residue means what you will get back when you will burn nylon so you will get hard black bead when you will burn nylon now the next is polyester that is also a type of a synthetic fiber so it simply melts and burns and it produce a smell of sweet chemical when you will burn the polyester and what you will get back when you will burn polyester yes it is a hard black bead and it melted fiber drips black smoke and some properties of polyester like it is easy to wash and dry and it does not shrink or lose its shape and another property is it is resistant to pest and chemicals you know most of the properties of polyester are similar to nylon but nylon has more tensile strength and polyester can be made into soft fiber similar to knitting wool and also hard sheets like that of glass you can get the different kinds of cloth when mixed with polyester when polyester is mixed with cotton you will get poly cot and when polyester is mixed with wool you will get poly wool and when terrilin is mixed with cotton you will get terry cot so these are the different kinds of mixed fibers here is the one fact the word plastics in plastic surgery comes from the greek word plastico in this chapter you will get some interesting facts related to this chapter so here now plastic may develop static charge upon them when rubbed against a body or with any other fibers means hum plastic ko kisi fiber par rub karte hain to it will produce some static charge might have found sparks jumping between our body and the polyester shirt while taking it off i know aap sabhi ne ye kabhi na kabhi observe kiya hoga now we will read about some common plastics and their uses so we will learn one by one so here the first one plastic is ldpe that means low density polyethylene this type of plastic is used for making carry bags buckets bowls squeezy bottles and packaging material polythene sheets are used as coverings for protection from rain as poly packs and sachet and this type of plastic is soft and flexible too so ldpe that is low density polyethylene the another one plastic is pp or you can say polypropylene it is a colorless transparent thermoplastic material commonly used for making transparent containers for water pipes and pipe fittings body of automobile batteries and toys now the next one is pu means polyurethane this type of plastic is also known as foam plastic it is made into airy spongy soft sheets being used in mattresses mattresses means gadda filling in cushions and sofa seats also now the next one is ps means polystyrene 
इट इज़ यूज फॉर मेकिंग किचन वेयर मेजरिंग कप्स ऑन मिक्सिंग विद सिंथेटिक फाइबर इट इज़ यूज एज लाइनिंग इन रेफ्रिजरेटेड स्टू एयर बबल पॉलिस्ट्रीन इज यूज एज इंसुलेटर्स बॉक्सेस फॉर स्टोरिंग आइस और फॉर पैकेजिंग गैजेट्स नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन इज पी वी सी एंड इट्स फुल फॉर्म इज पॉली वेनाइल क्लोराइड इट इज मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज फॉर प्लम्बिंग मटेरियल्स फर्नीचर डोर्स शूज सॉफ्ट टॉयज ग्रामोफोन रिकॉर्ड्स सी डी रेनकोट्स बाथरूम कर्टेन्स हैंड बैग्स एंड इंसुलेटिंग इलेक्ट्रिक केबल्स इट्स डायल्यूट सॉल्यूशन इन अ सॉलवेंट डायल्यूट मीन्स जिसमें सॉलवेंट की क्वांटिटी ज़्यादा होती है एज कम्पेयर टू सॉल्यूट सो इट्स डायल्यूट सॉल्यूशन इन अ सॉलवेंट इज यूज इन स्प्रे कोटिंग ऑन पेंटिंग्स कॉटन सिल्क और रेन फैब्रिक टू मेक दैम प्रूफ स्टेन प्रूफ एंड डस्ट रेसिस्टेंट डस्ट रेसिस्टेंट मीन्स जिसमें धूल ईजीली ना लगे दैट इज कॉल्ड डस्ट रेसिस्टेंट नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन इज पी टी एफ ई मीन्स पॉली टेक्ट्रा फ्लोरो एथलिन पॉली टेक्ट्रा फ्लोरो एथलिन सो इट इज अ स्पेशल प्लास्टिक on which starch and protein food do not stick it withstands high temperature hence used as a coating in non stick wear non stick we all know very well it is also known as teflon it is used as the base of an electric irons you all have seen this at your home that is cooking pan and we all are using this now this is an electric iron this is also we people are using in our homes but do you know teflon is a product of monsanto and when pans are coated with this chemical they release mind numbing poison into the food you cook what you really want is to top your teflon pans out the window and use cast iron ceramic or glass cookware only now come to the previous point this is pet that is polyethylene tetraphthalate polyethylene tetraphthalate so it is used for making microwave oven ware sturdy bottles for aerated drinks or you can say carbonated drinks is also used for making containers for storing sugar salt spices dry fruits biscuits and toffees for display now we will read some good to know points or the points which we should know about this So now here is the first point proteins are natural polymers of amino acids wool and silk fibers are natural polyamides now the next one is plastic surgeons transplant tissues or part of flesh from one part of the body on to the other parts for reshaping them synthetics are not used in plastic surgery synthetics have nothing to do with plastic surgery or we have learned the word comes from the greek word that is plastikos plastics are extensively used in health care industry they are used in packaging of tablets threads used for stitching wounds wounds means zakhmi you can say jab hume koi ghaav ho jata hai 
सिरेंज डॉक्टर्स ग्लव्स एज वेल एज मेडिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स हेयर आर द सम यूजेज ऑफ प्लास्टिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स वुड नॉट बी पॉसिबल विदाउट प्लास्टिक विदाउट प्लास्टिक मोस्ट ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ टूडे वुड नॉट हैव बीन प्रैक्टिकल और इकोनॉमिकल प्लास्टिक बेसिकली मेड द कमर्शलाइजेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स नाउ हेयर इज द अनदर यूज ऑफ प्लास्टिक इन द कंस्ट्रक्शन इंडस्ट्री द कंस्ट्रक्शन इंडस्ट्री हैज रिसेंटली बीन यूजिंग प्लास्टिक मटेरियल दैट आर वाटर प्रूफ स्टेबल वेदर रेजिस्टेंट एंड लाइट दे आर ऑल्सो ईजी टू हैंडल एंड क्वाइट ड्यूरेबल नाउ हेयर इज द टाइम ऑफ एक्टिविटी सो you will have to make a poster on a plastic and the topic is plastics boon or bane means plastic hamare liye acha hai ya bura you all have to share your thoughts in a drawing or on a piece of paper